What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're messing with the Ward 8, this old whiskey sour riff that's quite polarizing. I personally love the Ward 8, but I understand and agree that it can beneficiate of a few tweaks to make it even better. So today we're gonna do that. We're gonna make three different versions of the cocktail and I'll let you pick which one is your favorite. Also, this is the last video that we shoot in this apartment. So if you enjoyed this set in the past few months, take a minute and enjoy it. One last time. So guys, if you're ready, go grab your shaker and let's make some Ward 8 together right now. The Ward 8 was created in Boston in 1898 in honor of a politician who won his election in the 8th Ward of the city, hence the name the Ward 8. It's a mix of rye whiskey, grenadine, orange and lemon juice. Cocktails with orange juice can be very polarizing. Either you love them or you hate them. And most of the time, people in the I don't like orange juice in my cocktails camp don't really complain about the taste, but on how hard it is to balance a cocktail with it. But I believe there's ways around that. We can definitely use orange in our cocktails and still have perfectly balanced drinks. And I would love to share that with you. So today we're gonna start with what I believe is the most balanced recipe for the classic Ward 8. And then we're gonna make two elevated versions that I believe are even better. So let's start with the first one in a cocktail shaker. We're gonna start with two ounces or 60 ml of rye whiskey, half an ounce or 15 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice, half an ounce or 15 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and a half an ounce or 15 ml of grenadine. We're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna fine strain it in a chilled cocktail coupe. We're gonna express the orange zest over the cocktail and garnish the drink with it. Hmm. This is a very straightforward cocktail. It's a whiskey sour with tart food flavors. It's good, it's balanced in terms of sweetness and tartness, but not really in terms of flavors because we lose the orange. As I told you, there's ways to improve that. One of them is with acid adjusted orange juice and that's what we're gonna use in the second recipe of the day. So to make it, we're gonna need rye whiskey, acid adjusted orange juice and grenadine. In general, orange juice has about 2% of citric acid, while lemon juice is more around 6%. In the Ward 8, we use equal parts of each juices, so that gives us an average of 4% of citric acid. But in that version of the cocktail, I use orange juice alone, and orange is sweeter than lemon, so the 4% was not enough. So I acid adjusted my juice at 5%, and the balance was perfect. So to make this juice, it's very simple. All you have to do is to juice some orange juice. Also, if you're planning on making the third recipe today, I recommend you zest the oranges before juicing them and save the zest for later. Then you're gonna fine strain and weight the juice. And because we want a 5% citric acid orange juice, we're gonna add three grams of citric acid for every 100 ml of juice. Then you're gonna stir until dissolve and bottle it up. So now for the drink, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of rye whiskey, one ounce or 30 ml of acid adjusted orange juice, half an ounce or 15 ml of grenadine, and to add a little bit of lemon flavors, we're gonna do a regal shake. That means we're gonna express a lemon zest in the shaker, throw it in there, fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna fine strain the cocktail in a chilled cocktail coupe, and then we're gonna garnish it with the orange zest that we're gonna express over the drink. Hmm. This is very close to the classic Ward 8, but now I have the feeling I have a perfect balanced cocktail, both in terms of sweetness versus tartness and also in terms of flavors. We still get that beautiful grenadine flavor. We get a hint of lemon because of the regal shake, but the orange is now the star of the show. And I believe this is what a Ward 8 should be like. I hope that if you are in the I don't like orange juice in my cocktails camp, this will help you change your mind. But now let's make the last cocktail of the day. We're gonna take it to another level and because of that, we're also gonna change the name of the drink. We're gonna call it the Ward 11 because it's a few steps away from the Ward 8. Let's go. For this one, we're gonna need, once again, rye whiskey, orange curacao, pomegranate, lemon, and orange cordial, and saline solution. For the cordial, we're gonna weigh 7.5 grams of citric acid, and to that, we're gonna add 150 grams of water. Then we're gonna add 17.5 grams of the orange zest that we saved from the previous recipe. And we're also gonna add five grams of lemon zest. 
We're gonna stir until dissolved, close the lid and let that infuse in the fridge for 12 hours. Then we're gonna mix two parts of our citric water with one part of grenadine. And there we go, this is how we make the pomegranate, lemon and orange cordial. And now for the cocktail, we're gonna pour in a mixing glass one ounce and a half or 45 ml of rye whiskey, half an ounce or 15 ml of orange curacao, an ounce and a half or 45 ml of our cordial, and five drops of 20% saline solution. We're gonna fill the mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions and strain it in a chilled cocktail coupe. Once again, for the garnish, we're gonna express an orange zest and garnish it with it. Mm. This one is so smooth and also very rich in texture. It is not as rye forward, which makes it very easy to sip on. It's extra orange flavored because of the addition of the curacao and also the cordial. I love the fact that we use just citric acid with water and the oil of the citruses. So we don't input any sugar from the orange juice. So it makes it even more balanced than the second one. I love it. It has a beautiful color and the saline solution just ties all the flavors together. I really, really enjoy this one. So my friend, if you are an orange juice cocktail eater, I hope this video will help you change your mind. Let me know in the comments if it does. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon in another location. Cheers.